Today we're going to talk about WannaCry, which has been in the news all week. This is pretty nasty. It's now up to over 200,000 machines in over 140 countries impacted. Now what makes this most nasty is that it's a worm, so it's unlike the existing ransomware that's been out in the market to date. It actually goes back to the days of Configter in 2008. We're going to show you three scenarios today. We're going to show you a victim, we're going to show you how Silence protects in a single machine, and then we're going to do a comprehensive multi-machine lateral movement worm. So hold on, it's going to be a bumpy ride. First up, Windows 7. This is a brand new machine. Now normally the worm is originally delivered using phishing emails. A lot of this is related to social engineering. To keep this simple though, we're just going to launch an executable. And what you're going to see here is that within a matter of seconds, it's going to ransom the machine. Uh oh. There's another nasty trick here, that if you try to check payment and you haven't paid, it actually deletes additional files on the machine, as we saw that just went away. Now let's check out the same type of machine, but one which is protected with Silence Protect. Again, Windows 7, we're going to go into the malware samples here, going to copy one down to our local machine. And we don't even have to execute the file. Silence's background threat detection is going to automatically pick it up and quarantine it. And remember, with Silence, this happens silently in the background with no user interaction. So we can go in and we can see the threat that's picked up and the event that it did quarantine the file. But as we all know, ransomware and worms do not just come in a single variant. So we're going to copy all of the samples, and what you'll see is that immediately files begin to disappear. Now we can't even execute these if we wanted to. So if we try to highlight it and run them, Silence is going to quarantine them that way. But back comes the background threat detection, which is going to wipe out all of the other samples. Now we can go into the user interface. Within the Silence dashboard, we go to our device. We'll see here that the machine that had Silence Protect on it was able to pick up nine threats. Now we don't know exactly what these threats are at this point because many of them have never even been seen before but Silence's math model picked them up. Now the demo we've all been waiting for the real-life example of lateral movement. So first we're gonna go into a Windows 7 machine and what we'll see here is it's protected by Silence Protect. Nothing's on here we can see the network traffic flowing back and forth. Second machine same thing. Let's go into a Windows Server 2008 machine. Boots up, everything looks okay. We have auto login since this is a data center example. And what we'll immediately see is that the machine gets ransomed. So now for the remainder of this demonstration, we're going to show that even without any user interaction, the worm continues to propagate. So we're going to go to our other machine. Remember, there was nothing on here before. We can see that there's network traffic flowing back and forth and background detection is running in Silence Protect. The type of network traffic is ARPS. So this is ping. We're also going to see SMB traffic, which is one of the vectors that's used for this worm. So now let's go into our other machine, the Windows 7 X64. In the Silence console, you'll notice that we pick something up immediately. So our other box is actively trying to attack this. But Silence Protect picks it up and protects against this type of attack. 
Now let's see what actually is happening here. So we're going to go to the Windows directory and what we'll find is that the file doesn't even exist. Silence has completely wiped the file out. The challenge is we can't be too confident because what we'll see now is that a minute later an additional iteration of this file was dropped. And if we go to our x86 box we'll see that there are three files that have been dropped. The two that we saw on our x64 machine as well as a DLL is that we've picked up another instance of this attack. So it wasn't just once, but it's a continuous attack. So let's go back to our server that's been ransomed and see actually what was the cause. What we'll see here is that there's a rogue Microsoft Security Center 2.0 service, which was automatically started. And that is the root cause of the WannaCrypt worm. So in summary, Silence Protect recognizes and blocks ransomware pre-execution, runs silently in the background, X attacks across many vectors, including networking, and there's no ransomware payment required. And as an added bonus, we're also going to give you a timeline. And you can see that not only does Silence Protect now, but Silence Protect has been able to defend against this type of ransomware and this type of worm since 2015. No patching required.